Okay, this tutorial is just going to show you how to use the um, twirl and warp tool to kind of create a sort of slice cut inspired topography. So the first thing you need to do is um, type your text. Um, and then you want to use quite a bold font, um, but it's up to you so you can kind of just pick something. Um, yeah, I think I'll just stick with um, Impact, which is quite a nice, bold font. Once you've um, typed your fonts, you need to just be clicked on the um, black selection tool. Um, if you just right-click and click Create Outlines, you'll see all of these are now um, separate little letters. And then click on the Direct Selection tool, um, and then you'll get all of these will be able to separate. So I'm just going to move mine so there's a little bit of... Um, um, a different shape going on. And if you're wanting to kind of really swirl some of them around, you might want to um, just separate them out a little bit so there's a bit more space between them. Um, and once you've done that, um, if you go down to your selection panel here, um, you can select the warp tool. Um, you might want to zoom in a little bit while you're doing it. And just click and drag, so you're just pulling um, the different sections of the letters out a little bit and then if you use the twirl tool and just click it once you'll see it starts to jump and get a shape um, so the longer you hold it down the more it's going to kind of start to twirl and you can kind of adjust the sort of twirl that you get by um, if you just double click so I've got it on quite a low number at the moment but if you take it up to say um, 40 then you'll get quite a quick um, so you can see it's a little bit quicker when you're swirling it and that's all you need to do, so it's just a case of kind of dragging out those different points um, in the right places and just having another go um, and just doing it sort of gradually and bit by bit because it can kind of jump out quite quickly. Um, Oh, so you can see that's okay, but it's getting a bit of an unusual shape and we're using a bit of a T, so I'll go back a little bit um, to there. Um, and that's it really, it's just a case of kind of playing around a little bit more with it and just keep adding to it, doing it slowly um, and seeing how you get on. So yeah, all you need to do is just keep playing around until you kind of get something that you're happy with. Um, and you can add little things in um, at the end. So this while that I did in the middle, all I did was just do another um, full stop. Um, and then the same thing again, so right clicking, creating the outlines, and then it just kind of gives you a little circle to work with. So then just pulling it out with the warp tool again, um, and then just holding the twirl tool on it till we've got a really kind of quite nice circular sort of shape and then you can kind of if you want you can kind of drag it and make it bigger and just sort of place it wherever you want um, so there's some little things you can do to just kind of tweak it and finish it off at the end um, and that's it